Good evening, or actually good morning. For 28 years we have come. For 28 years we have come to this corner to commemorate, to remember, to celebrate the life of police officer Eddie Byrne. His family is here with us this evening. Each day I have the great satisfaction and joy of working with his older brother, our Deputy Commissioner Larry Byrne. I can't begin to tell you how much this service, this remembrance, means to that family. I've had the opportunity to, over these last several years, talk with Larry about the meaning of it to him and to his family. So on behalf of the NYPD, and I think I can, on behalf of the Byrne family, say thank you to each and every one of you, current members of the NYPD, retired members, our brothers from the FDNY, several of the other agencies that are represented here this evening. We are fortunate, we are all fortunate to be members of an extraordinary profession, a profession to, to whom so much is given we are given the opportunity to serve. We are given the opportunity to protect. We are given the opportunity to have lives of significance, lives that matter. You've heard me use the expression, cops count, police matter. Eddie Byrne was a cop. His life counted, his life mattered. His much too short life was one of incredible significance because his sacrifice his murder, it awakened this city, it awakened this country to the reality that we had let the forces of crime and evil go too far when a police officer sitting in a marked police car can be assassinated in the middle of the night. Society had gone too far in giving up our city, up our country to the criminal. We came back because of this young man's sacrifice and his death. In the 1990s, we began to take our city back. We began to take our country back. But we were reminded as recently as a year ago, when once again in this city, two uniformed police officers sitting in a marked police car were once again assassinated, Detectives Lou and Ramos. A stark reminder that even as every day we fight to keep this city, this country safe, that something we all know, that when we take the oath of office with that badge on our chest, that someday some of us may be asked to pay that ultimate sacrifice. We always go toward the danger, never away from it. We always fulfill the honor and the commitment of that oath that we take to protect and to serve. And so tonight, as police commissioner for this extraordinary police department, I want to thank all of you for honoring the promise that we make to every police officer when they join the NYPD, that if that ultimate sacrifice is made, we will never forget we will, as we have for these past 28 years, at 12.15, come together to remember this great young man, this great young cop. As we will remember every officer that we lose over the years, and there have been far, far too many, but we remember them all, and we must, because it's what makes us the NYPD. We fulfill our promises. We fulfill our commitments. We never forget. Thank you.